All right. Thanks very much. We're here with Rydell Russell Podcast speaking with Troy Patton. Troy is currently a double-A pitcher for the Bowie Bay Sox in the Orioles organization. Troy, thanks again for joining us. We really appreciate your time. Well, thanks, yeah. Robert. Oh, sure. Our pleasure. Troy, you grew up in Texas and were drafted by the Astros and even made it to the big leagues in late 2007. Um, then you were acquired in the Miguel Tejada trade um, and in the offseason leading into the 2008 season. What were your thoughts after you were traded from the Orioles coming from an organization that you kind of grew up with? Um, initially, it was uh, it was quite a surprise, but after I sat down and thought about it, uh, I was very happy and excited to, to get a chance with a new organization and the organization looking to the future. Well, good. That's good to hear. I'm sure it was quite a shock, like you said, kind of coming from the Astros, looking like you were going to be in the rotation heading into two, the 2008 season. Now, you head into spring training with the Orioles 2008, and you came down with the shoulder problems. You were injury was diagnosed with a, it was a labrum tear, I believe. Um, what was it like after you got that pregnant or after you got that diagnosis? Well, uh, I actually got the diagnosis while I was still with the Astros at the end of the season. Okay. So, so I had known I had known there was a problem there, but I was gonna I rehabbed it all off season to try to get it healthy, and it just uh, it just didn't get better. So it was just it was kind of like the last the last straw. I had to get it done, or it just wouldn't have been it would have been a terrible season. Okay, and so how does kind of having a potentially career-threatening injury change the way you look at things or change the way you approach your career? Uh, well, I'm definitely thankful to be still pitching and thankful to be uh, doing as well as I am right now. I think I had some great doctors uh, that, who did the surgery, and they did an amazing job and couldn't be happier. And how close to being fully recovered would you say you are? Um, I think I'm fully recovered. I think I still have a little bit to go as far as, polishing up what I used to have, but I think as far as physically, I think I'm recovered. Okay, good. Now, when you speak of polishing up, like, I mean, is it just an issue of arm strength and kind of getting enough innings to kind of get your arm back in shape to where it was before the injury? It's a little bit of all of the above. It's it's um, arm strength. It's, it's pitches, the breaking ball especially, just consistency with the breaking ball. Mm-hmm. Is uh, has been a little bit of a struggle, but it's it's you know, some some good flashes. So it's a little bit of everything. Okay. Now, do you have a sense of what the Orioles' timetable is for you, or what they want to see before maybe you giving you giving you a shot in Baltimore? No, I, I really don't have a sense. I mean, I don't I don't know if they're going to leave me here all season or not. It doesn't it doesn't really matter. I just hope I have a good season and throw a lot of innings and. Uh, and then if anything, you know, I'll have a chance next year to make the team. Okay. So in your opinion, it's it's more important, obviously, just to get the innings, build the arm strength, get the feel of the breaking ball back, as opposed to, you know, would you like to be promoted to AAA to kind of maybe have a, another challenge, take on some hitters that are a little more experienced? Um, if, if they think it's what's best for me, I don't really – it really doesn't make a difference to me who I face as long as I get whoever I face out. Okay. Now, you're, you're pretty close with Matt Albers, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So what kind of things has he told you about, like, playing in Baltimore, what he's enjoyed most, and what kind of things you can look forward to? Oh, he just he, – he loves it. He says the American League East is the best division in baseball, and it's uh, it's definitely tough to pitch there, but he says it's a lot of fun, good. a lot of good places to play. Uh-huh. Now, and when you see guys like Brad Burgesson and Jason Birkin and David Hernandez get called up and have success kind of quickly, you know, how excited does that get you for your opportunity? Uh, it gets me very excited. I mean, it's and it's good to see those guys do well because they're all good guys. Mm-hmm. So it's uh it's good to see them do well, and it gives a lot of us, a lot of the other guys, uh, you know, something right in front of us. We can see that they're doing it. So you know, why can't we? Right, right. That's, that's got to having those opportunities has got to be really encouraging to you. Now, what what types of things do you look to establish when you're on the mound, and, and what would you say your strengths are as a pitcher? Um, I would like to say I'm typical lefty in a sense of I really want to establish a fastball, you know, early in the game, throw it for strikes on both sides of the plate. And then as the game goes along, it just di- dictates the way I pitch. It, if if my breaking ball is the better pitch, I'll throw it more. If my change-ups, uh, you know, the better pitch, then I'll throw it more. And and it's just it just depends on how the game goes. Okay. So you, you work four pitches. I, I understand you got fastball. Three. Three pitches? Okay. So it's fastball, changeup, curveball? Uh, slider. 
slider. Okay, I got gotcha. you. All right. Now, as you're going through a game, the first time you face a hitter, what kind of things are you looking for in that hitter's approach that you can use to your advantage for the second and third times you might face them in the game? Well, obviously the first thing you check is the way they swing at the ball, you know, the way they swing at certain pitches. But then you can also you can also check the way, where they're standing on the in the batter's box and, and around the plate, and uh, the catcher usually does more of that. <clears throat> but, yeah, I'm, I'm basically looking at how they foul pitches off and, and what kind of swings they take. Okay, so then when you get back in the dugout in between innings, that's when you and the catcher kind of confer on what, what type of approach to, to take after a guy the next time up then? Yes. Okay.